experience, we're all having conscious, conscious experiences, right? And there really is no space and time. There's only our experiences. So when you say that the universe collides with time, it's the moment when experience began. Okay. Um, so that was when experience first began. And you could say that when experience first began, that matter wasn't very stable and that everything was in a sort of subatomic suit. And that um, similar to how we have the Goldilocks zone on Earth where um, you can have water and liquid, solid and gas, which is a stable habitat for a life form, you can have the orbit around the center of time where matter is in a state of constant manifestation, right? And that is the requirement for a safe habitable zone for human consciousness, right? You need to, you need to be in a place where matter is, sorry, where energy is turning into matter and that same energy can be light. And then it can also create sounds, touches and taste. And that only occurs when we're accelerating at light speed. So you could say that when the universe first collided with the structure of time, it was going either too fast or too slow. And it wasn't in a habitable zone for human consciousness or for matter to be created. Um, and so that would be the moment when the universe collided with time. And so then as the universe orbits through the fluid of time, it slowly drifts towards center and slows down in its orbit. And then it um, basically falls into the habitable zone of perception, which is a spiral of perception. And as the universe is drifting closer and closer to the center, that's how we gain our conscious harmonics.